Welcome back, tech enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into 10 essential Linux tools for cybersecurity. Remember, this video is for educational purposes only. Always use these tools responsibly. These tools can fortify defenses or exploit vulnerabilities. Think of them as a master locksmith's kit for networks. Crucial for penetration testers, system admins, and tech enthusiasts. We'll explore what these tools do and why they're powerful. Know your enemy or your best friends for system testing. Linux is a favorite for security pros and hackers. These tools are staples in distributions like Kaylee Linux. They range from network reconnaissance to password cracking. Grab your thinking caps and let's dive into cybersecurity tools. First up is Nmap, the network mapper. It's like super-powered binoculars for your network. Nmap reveals connected devices, services, and operating systems. It sends packets and analyzes responses. Is a port open, closed, or filtered? Nmap answers with remarkable accuracy. System admins and security pros rely on it. Always get proper authorization before scanning. Next up we have the behemoth that is the Metasploit framework. If Nmap is about reconnaissance, Metasploit is about exploitation. It's a cornerstone of penetration testing and vulnerability research, a massive updated database of exploits and tools to deliver payloads. Like opening a remote shell, built around modules, exploit, payload, and auxiliary. For scanning, fuzzing, and more, primarily for penetration testing. Always operate ethically. Use virtual labs for learning. Let's switch gears a bit and talk about Wireshark. This isn't an attack tool in the same vein as Metasploit, but it's absolutely critical for understanding what's happening on a network at the most granular level. Wireshark is a network protocol analyzer, which means it captures and displays the data traveling back and forth on a network. Think of it as a high-tech wiretap for your internet connection, letting you see the raw data packets in real time. How does Wireshark achieve this? It typically puts your computer's network interface card, NIC, into promiscuous mode. In normal operation your NIC only pays attention to packets addressed to its MAC address. In promiscuous mode however it grabs every packet it sees on the wire, or in the air for Wi-Fi. Wireshark then decodes these packets, breaking them down layer by layer according to various network protocols like TCP IP, HTTP, DNS and hundreds more. The real power of Wireshark lies in its analysis capabilities. You can capture gigabytes of network traffic, but that's useless without the ability to sift through it. You should only capture traffic on your own network or networks where you have explicit permission. Chapter 4. John the Ripper, the Relentless Password Detective. Now, let's talk about passwords, or more specifically, how to crack them. Meet John the Ripper, often just called John or JTR. This is a free, open-source password cracking tool that has been around for ages and is incredibly effective, especially against weak or common passwords. Its primary purpose is to detect weak Unix passwords, but it has evolved to support hundreds of hash and cipher types on various operating systems. John is highly optimized and can try millions or even billions of password candidates per second, depending on the hardware and the complexity of the hash. The legitimate use cases for John the Ripper include system administrators performing password strength audits on their own systems. It underscores the critical importance of using strong, unique passwords or passphrases. Chapter 5. Aircrack Aang Mastering the Wireless Waves Let's venture into the wireless realm with Aircrack Aang, a suite of tools designed to assess Wi-Fi network security, monitor, attack, test, and crack Wi-Fi networks, Capture raw 802.11 frames, inject frames and crack keys. Test your own Wi-Fi or networks with permission. Unauthorized use is illegal and punishable. Stay on the right side of the law and ethics. Chapter 6. Hydra, the multi-headed brute forcer. Next on our list is Hydra, often referred to as Facey Hydra. This tool is a parallelized network logon cracker which means it's designed to rapidly try many different username and password combinations against a wide variety of network services. If you need to test the strength of credentials on a service that requires authentication, Hydra is a go-to tool for brute force or dictionary attacks. Hydra supports a vast array of protocols. We're talking about services like SSH, FTP, Telnet, HTTP, HTTPS for web form logins, SMB, RDP, VNC, various database protocols like MySQL and PostgreSQL, and many more. 
The primary legitimate use case for Hydra is, again, security auditing. System administrators and penetration testers use it to identify weak passwords on their own systems and services. Using Hydra to attempt to gain unauthorized access to any system or service is illegal and unethical. Chapter 7. Burp Suite, your web application security sidekick. Let's shift our focus to web applications with Burp Suite. This is an integrated platform, a veritable Swiss army knife, for performing security testing of web applications. Developed by Portswigger, Burp Suite is an industry standard for web pen testers and bug bounty hunters. It provides a comprehensive set of tools to analyze web traffic, identify vulnerabilities, and exploit them. At the heart of Burp Suite is its proxy server. You configure your web browser to route all its traffic through Burp's proxy. This allows Burp to intercept, inspect, and even modify every single HTTP and HTTPS request sent by your browser and every response received from the web server. Burp Suite includes a range of tools built around this proxy functionality. The primary use case for Burp Suite is comprehensive web application security testing. You should only use Burp Suite to test web applications that you own or have explicit written permission to test. Chapter 8. Nikto the Web Server's Inquisitor. Continuing with web security, let's look at Nikto. Unlike Burp Suite, which is more of an interactive testing platform, Nikto is an open source web server scanner. Its job is to perform comprehensive tests against web servers to identify potential security issues quickly. Nikto works by sending a barrage of HTTP requests to the target web server, checking for thousands of potentially dangerous files, outdated server software, specific version-related problems on over 270 server versions, and server configuration items. Nikto is primarily used by security auditors and system administrators as a reconnaissance and quick scan tool. The scarily easy part of Nikto is its simplicity of use and the speed at which it can provide a list of potential issues. With a basic command like, it will start its scan and begin reporting findings. As always, only run Nikto against servers you have explicit permission to scan. Chapter 9, SQL Map, your automated SQL injection assistant. Now we delve into one of the most critical and damaging types of web vulnerabilities, SQL injection, and the tool that reigns supreme in automating the detection and exploitation of SQL injection flaws is SQL Map. This open source penetration testing tool is incredibly powerful and can take much of the manual labor out of finding and leveraging SQLI vulnerabilities in web applications. SQL Map works by sending a variety of specially crafted inputs to the web application, targeting parameters in URLs, post data, or even HTTP headers. It analyzes the application's responses to these inputs to determine if a SQL injection vulnerability exists. Once SQL Map confirms a vulnerability, its capabilities are extensive. The scarily easy aspect of SQL Map is its level of automation. Needless to say, SQL Map should only ever be used on applications you have explicit written consent to test. Chapter 10. Netcat the Network's Jack of All Trades. Last but certainly not least, we have Netcat, often dubbed the TCP IP Swiss Army Knife. This little utility is incredibly versatile and can be used for a vast range of networking tasks. It's a command line tool that can read and write data across network connections using either TCP or UDP protocols. At its core, Netcat can create almost any kind of network connection you can imagine. It can operate in a connect mode, where it connects to a listening port on a remote machine, much like Telnet. Or it can operate in listen mode, where it binds to a local port and waits for incoming connections. The scarily easy part of Netcat is its sheer simplicity for performing powerful actions. Because of its dual-use nature, a legitimate admin tool on one hand, and a common hacking tool on the other, understanding Netcat is crucial for both offensive and defensive security. And there you have it folks, 10 Linux tools that make hacking scarily easy. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Use these tools wisely and always stay on the right side of the law. The key takeaway here isn't just about how easy these tools can make certain tasks, but rather the importance of understanding the underlying principles of cybersecurity. Knowing how these tools work is the first step towards building more secure systems, defending against attacks, and fostering a safer digital environment for everyone. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, 
and hit the bell icon for more tech content. Let us know in the comments if there are other tools or topics you'd like us to cover. Stay curious, stay safe, and as always, thanks for watching. See you next time.